Hello everyone, it's Peter, your personal face exercise coach from Face Aerobics. Today I'm going to be talking about muscle effort. So stay with me and I'll be back soon. What if I would tell you that things don't happen once? Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming by today. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm going to be talking about muscle effort and how much effort you put into the exercises. But first, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. And when you do, hit the notification bell. That bell will tell you that I have uploaded a video, so please do that. Okay, let's get into it. So muscle effort. Now muscle effort and the question of muscle effort and how much strength do you use in the exercises came about from a discussion that we had a couple of weeks ago in our webinar in the membership site. Because every, every week we have a discussion, we have a live discussion on Facebook on different topics that people need to learn about or questions that they have. So this is how this topic came about. Now a lot of people tell me they cannot make it to 150 that they can only do 100. And that's when I tell them, well, if you can't make 150, go ahead and do 100 for three weeks. That's fine, 100 repetitions. But in the course of this discussion, I realized that people have been pushing way too hard into their exercises. So consider if you're doing 50 repetitions, and generally we can all get through 50 repetitions. You go through them all, try not to go through like a bat out of hell though. Do them mindfully. Now I just want to do a note on that. When you're doing the exercises, I'm just using one exercise. Do them mindfully. Watch how I'm doing it. I'm doing them slowly. I'm not doing like the power lift. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not going. And this is like when you're at a, doing a marathon. Think about that poor bugger in the Com Commonwealth Games. He absolutely just crashed and burned at the end. He just collapsed and that guy was just laying there. He had collapsed. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was quite shocked because, you know, he had put so much effort and so much energy into it and at the end he collapsed. Now I want you to think about that it's like you're running a marathon. You need to pace yourself. Because when you get to 100 repetitions and 150 repetitions, it's a lot of repetitions. But the good thing is it's only for a couple of weeks. But when you're doing those 150 repetitions, you need to pace yourself. Do not put all your effort into it at the beginning. Do not do them like a bat out of hell. Do them slowly and mindfully. If you do the repetitions to a beat of one, one second every repetition, that is around the optimal level that you are able to, number one, continue with all the repetitions, but number two, be able to build your muscles. So next time you're doing your exercises and you get into levels two and three, try to be really mindful, okay? It's mindfulness that will get you through this. Do not push all of your energy into the beginning of it. Do not go like a bat out of hell. And I know early on in my very early videos, I am doing that sort of thing. And that's because I didn't know either. And the program had not evolved to what it is now. So consider that if you were doing a neck exercise and you're doing this the whole time for 150 times, you are gonna run out of steam. It's the same for all of the exercises. So please be mindful about how much effort you're putting into it. Please do not run like a bat out of hell and pace yourself, okay? It's so important that you do that. Now the other thing about muscle effort is that if you do it slowly and mindfully, then you give yourself a bit of time to be able to start visualizing things and all those other great things that I ask you guys to do. But if you're running all the way through it and being crazy all the way through it, Really, all you're doing is mimicking what I'm doing. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to start being mindful. And this is very much a part of muscle effort. So please try to do that, guys. I hope that's really helped you today. Slow down, do, it, do your repetitions to the beat of one second. Watch and count.
this will give you a much better, better chance of your muscle starting to grow. Okay, it's so important. And now I understand why people say, well, I can't get to 150. This is a lot of the reason why. And remember, I'm always saying to you that less is best. The more exercises that you do on your face, if you do not have balance, you will have problems with your facial muscles. If you don't do enough, you will have problems. And what this program is about is a balanced program to help you through your facial exercises. It keeps the muscles active and excited. It keeps the muscles actually growing and recuperating and growing and recuperating. You're not plateauing, you're not doing any of that. You are being mindful and you are not rushing through it. Okay, that's, that's where I'm at today. So guys, I hope that's helped you today. I hope it's something that you can start to learn, just a little tip, and I hope it's something that you can learn to apply when you're doing your facial exercises. All right, so please do remember to translate my videos. When you translate my videos, you are able to then have the, um, the videos in your language. Now, guys, I don't speak Turkish. I don't speak Hindu, I don't speak Arabic, I don't speak French. So it's up to you to do that. There's no point asking me to do it because I don't know how to speak those languages. So if you would like the videos translated into your language, please go ahead, click the link in the description box below where it says translate my videos. Go there, translate the whole video, and then it'll be done. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate it. I hope it's something that's really helped you. Please do try to apply this and I'll see you next time. Bye.